congratulations on the, the movie. It Thank just you. keeps going and going and going yeah, and going. And now you're at the BAFTAs. How would it feel? Now we're at the BAFTAs. I know. It's, when you say that, I'm just kind of like, it, it makes me shake. I'm mad. I'm so out of my depth. But I'm loving it. It's great. Yeah. Uh, we just spoke to Francis and and, uh, and Alex talking about the movie about how you know people have gone to the cinema to see the movie and it's had one of the biggest kind of British debuts in the cinema and everything else. It must be great as an actor that people are are supporting the British film industry by going to the cinema to see these movies. Yeah, uh, it's um, it's amazing. It, ultimately, I think that what's really what brings me such pride actually in terms of kind of queer cinema is the idea that the kind of anything. Anything of the queer spectrum is not is it is no longer niche. It's no longer the small side of kind of art house film or whatever. This is a commercially successful film, and we're very proud of that. And we made we made a very small film in a very small part of our of our country, and suddenly we're at the Baftas, and it's mental. <laughs> it's great. I wanted to ask you about working with Alex. I mean, you have such a great relationship on screen. Yeah. Was that an easy thing to grasp from the beginning? Because obviously you two haven't done many movies together, but then you come across like you've been doing it for for thirty years. Yeah, uh, Alec, Alec and I are very, very good friends now. But no, we uh, we kept ourselves apart. I didn't speak to Alec until the first time we speak on on screen. So we kept ourselves apart. Worked. I worked at a different farm to him. We just didn't want to have any contact, and that I thought that was really helpful in, in what what came up on screen. There was always a chemistry, but he remains a very wonderful friend of mine. So. Francis, I mean, as a director for a first time, uh, knocked it out of the park. He's going to go into to bigger things. I mean, w what made him so spe what makes him so special as a as a writer and director? He's just a brilliant friend and a very extraordinary director and writer, and he will go on to make very brilliant films for yeah. sure. And what's next for you? I know you said before you're doing Les Mis, yep. the TV adaptation. Anything else uh, in the pipeline? I've announced uh, I'm doing a film called Hope Gap in the summer with Annette Benning and Bill Nye. It's wow. just the three of us there you go. having a big old. Dra family drama. <laughs> it should be fun. That's, yeah. pretty, that's a pretty good mix. That's a pretty, pretty good, good mix. Pretty good bunch of us, yeah. yeah. So we're excited to get started on that. Great yeah. stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!